very good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome on this new video on Remnant from the Ashes. I'm still exploring the DLC and still finding tons of new items and as always I like to share what I found with you guys. And as you can see here on the side of my screen I got three new weapons. The Sword of Shotgun, the Alternator and Frostborn which is a melee weapon that I currently have equipped and is a Frost Axe. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to get it. Let's go! Here we are back in World 13, and as you can see here, attached to my backpack, there she is. It's an axe, as I said before, this is just uh, with a regular axe moveset. The design is very cool, I like it a lot. But well, let me see if I can put it myself on the light so you can have a good contrast it looks very sharp very aggressive and I like that also when you are uh, away from any source of noise you can hear the, um, the glowing gem in the middle making like a nice sound I don't know if you can hear it now but it's quite cool uh, I love the design as I said and it's quite strong as a Nux running at 110 damage at plus 6. Now the melee weapon that I use on this card is the Guardian Axe in order to charge my mods quickly and honestly it's my go to axe like I prefer axes among the melee weapons I don't like hammers that much and uh, although I know that lances are the best in order to keep distance with your enemy I do like the axe movesets too much compared to the spear so I, I just prefer running an axe and the frostborn axe lacks only 2 damage comparing 2.2 damage comparing to the guardian axe at plus 6 both of them but even if it lacks 2.2 damage compared to the other axe it does make up for that with its effect which is called strike with each strike of this weapon, you will inflict frost stacks on your enemies. And with the charge attacks, you will apply two stacks per hit. So considering that it's an axe and it delivers two strong hit when you do a charge attack, it's gonna be four stacks already of frostbite just by doing a regular charge attacks. And this thing is crazy, you can apply frostbite effect really quick on your enemies and you can go basically from zero to ten just if you follow the flow or your normal 3 hit combo if you do 2 charge attacks in that. So really good for status effect already. Overall really cool weapon. But now let's have a look on how to get it. You need to travel on Felmorn Barrow on Raysom, the new world in the DLC of course. And you want to get sure you are at the Warstone which is found in the central interception of the map. The one that has a double door that you can open um, as a shortcut to go in the previous section. And typically this central sec point can be found after you defeat the first boss of the area. Which for me was Orbreak the Shield Warden. From the wallstone you can see that we have the double door there, the shortcut's been already open. And then you can find this wooden bridge with these two giant tusks around it at the beginning of the bridge. Crossing the bridge you will arrive at this cave that has the staircase, this wooden staircase going down there. And by following the path you will arrive uh, at another cave, like an underground cave, when you will find this desk with this chair. Now at the moment there's nothing inside because I already been here and already destroyed all the boxes and everything that was there. But like the first time you arrive you will find a couple of boxes and here in these points there will be two explosive barrels. You can shoot those and make the wooden barricade explode and inside here you will find a couple of treasures. But this is not what you're looking for. In order to get to your real prize you need to go through this passage. Now in front of this passage there will be a bookshelf like something that covers it entirely and you won't be able to see it through it's actually quite difficult to, to realize that there's a passage behind it if it's your first time around for me I was just lucky because I was mashing everything and I just destroyed it to see if I could get some loot out of it and I found out that there is this passage around and if you follow this passage you will get at the back of this area and you will find out that there is another wooden barricade destroy that and you will arrive in front of a giant skeleton and on the stone altar right below it you will find your prize lying there 
the Frostborn Axe. Now, when I picked it up, for me, it was a plus four. I don't know if that would be the case for you as well, or if it will be higher or lower, depending on your average gear level. But anyway, that's how you get it. As I say, it is quite a good axe, and the frostbite effect is definitely really helpful. If you engage in melee combat and you want some room to breathe, all you need to do is to apply the frostbite effect by doing a charge attack, and then you will be slowing down your enemies. At that point, you are free to run away, because you are going to be faster, and just pick up your breath, heal yourself, or shoot from distance, whatever you want to do. It's a great tool, it's nothing too OP, but it's definitely helpful. And right now I am actually considering to use it as my main melee weapon. Because I found out that in some situation it is really, really good. But that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video and if it was helpful. I hope it was. Stay tuned for more Remnant content because they are on the way. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Oaken's out.